Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. It's gonna be a low carb, keto friendly grocery haul. So make sure you stick around and see some of the new items that I was able to find at a few of the grocery stores that I stopped at this week. If this is your first time checking in, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. If you are looking for a low carb, a keto lifestyle, if you're looking into weight loss, you're gonna find lots of videos related to that over here. Hit the notification bell so that when I do upload a video, you'll know. Make sure you go over to my Instagram. I'll have my name right here. I do post on my stories daily. There's also a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy, which I'll have linked in the description box. All you have to do is just click on that. It's going to take you right on over. Amazing group of people, over 27,000 strong. Okay, let's just go ahead and get started with today's grocery haul. Okay, let's talk about a few of the items that I picked up at Walmart for this week. I'm going to start out with some of the repeats that we always pick up, and then I'll move into some of the newer items. Picked up three steaks. These are the Thin Cut. Those are always my favorite. These are the New York Strip. I like to have these with Brussels sprouts or green beans. I will just put some Trader Joe's seasonings on those. This one is the 21 Seasoning Salute. It's my favorite to put on steak, so I will season them with this. Got the large family size bag of sausage patties. These are gonna be pre-cooked. I like to take these. I will go ahead and put them in the microwave. I'll crisp them up in a pan, dip them in some batter, like waffle or pancake batter, and then cook those up. They're amazing. I have an entire video on that. I'll link it for you all. You have to try them. They are hands down my favorite new breakfast. Then I also picked up some of the great value butter. I do get the unsweetened. There's four sticks in this. I use this for, you know what we use butter for, pretty much everything, but definitely to make my keto chow with. Needed some more unsweetened almond milk. I did go ahead and pick up the vanilla. It's gonna be your 30 calories for eight ounces. They have it in the vanilla and also in the original. Just make sure you pick up the unsweetened because they pretty much look about the same. And then I got another marinara sauce. This one is the Lucini Tuscan marinara. It's one of my favorites, no sugar added. I use this in keto-friendly lasagna. I use this in my pizza bowls. I love marinara sauce, so I try to keep it on hand at all times. And I think everything else here is gonna be either new or items that we've not picked up in a long time. So this one right here is a repeat purchase, but my Walmart or grocery stores in the area have not had it in forever. And this is my favorite fat bomb that Slim Fast makes. This one is the iced lemon drop, two net carbs per each one, no added sugar. This one is gonna have coconut oil in it, MCT. These are not bad. That's probably my favorite products that Slim Fast makes is their fat bombs, and they do have a large variety. Walmart even makes their own brand now. I also picked up this one. This is the meal replacement bar. Kerrigan likes this one. It is going to have MCT in it as well. And this one is going to be the frosted cinnamon bun. So this is more like a bar, not a fat bomb. Even though it says fat bomb, it's a bar. So make sure if you are getting any and you're trying to stay clean or keto that you go with the snack cups. I'm not really that sure about these. I don't think I've tested them. Another bar that I picked up that Kerrigan and I wanted to try was the Keto Friendly Special K. This one is going to have five bars in it, 160 calories and two net carbs per bar. This one, peanut butter fudge. Yes, peanut butter fudge. So hopefully crossing my fingers, it's good. I'll keep you posted. Kerrigan spotted the Taco Bell creamy avocado ranch sauce on an end cap. So she picked this up. Definitely a dirty keto item, but if you can fit it into your macros, you might want to look into it. I've never had it, but she says she gets it quite often when she does get like the bowls and things like that at Taco Bell. So if this is something that you like, you can check it out at Walmart. But right there is your nutritional information. It's gonna have two total carbs, and that is going to be per serving, which is two tablespoons. A new drink I had never seen before is by Ba. And this one is gonna be Tangerine Citrus. Now, ba drinks are sweetened with erythritol, so this one isn't bad. 10 calories a serving. Definitely wanted to give it a shot, and it does say plant-based energy, just in case you're wondering. I'm trying to cut back on my jellos, so I did pick up some keto-friendly yogurts. So the first one I got was 
the keto ratio. This one is the coconut flavor, two net carbs a serving on it. The other two are the two good yogurts. I picked up some I'd never seen before. Now, normally we just have like the strawberry, the blueberry. They had the mango hibiscus, so pick that one up. And also lemon, oh, I love lemon. It is probably my favorite flavor aside from peanut butter. So got those and I went ahead and picked up one of the Duncan Hines Keto Friendly Cakes. This one is gonna be four net carbs per serving. I did check the ingredients and in my opinion, they don't look bad. So I was rather shocked. I have heard that they do have other varieties, but at my store, they only had the classic yellow cake mix. I've heard they've had the chocolate. I've also heard that they have the brownie mix. None of those are going to be available at my stores yet, but I'm gonna keep looking. If you've tried the Duncan Hines cake mix, let me know your thoughts on that. Is there anything I need to do to it special? Do I need to add anything to make it more moist? Because I want it to be that moist. I want a moist cake. I am dying for some cake. And it even says perfectly moist. But I know how coconut flour and almond flour can be. That's one reason I've been hesitant to try it. But we will talk about it as soon as I fix it and hopefully show it to you in a future video. So that was some of the new items that I picked up this week. The Aldi haul this week is going to be a small one because we are still trying to eat the salmon, mahi-mahi, and the beef, things like that that we have in the freezer. I'm doing like a freezer purge. So staples and new items that I have not seen at Aldi. So let's go over some of the staples that I'm always picking up. We're gonna start out with cheese. I picked up the provolone and the mozzarella in the sliced cheese. I picked up some Parmesan cheese because I like to add that to pretty much everything. I'm a cheese person. Did pick up some strawberries also. Kerrigan loves strawberries. I picked up the little salad bar garden salad mix. Stuffed baby Bella mushrooms. These have artichoke, spinach, and it's a cheese blend on the inside of those. Heat and serve. I'm just gonna put these in the air fryer. Now it does have your nutritional information right here on the back. So if I did eat three of these, it would be two total carbs. We're actually in our last Duke's mayonnaise and I like to keep one of these in my pantry as a backup just in case. This is the one I use, it is no sugar added, but it is going to be soybean oil based. So just be aware of that. I needed some more of the stevia packets. These are the ones that are going to only have stevia. So you don't have to worry about them adding anything else to it. This is going to be your 80 packs that are in this. And it says erythritol, stevia leaf extract, natural flavors. That's it. So no carbs in this one. I like to have them on hand. And we also needed some vanilla. I like to keep it here just in case I need it for our recipes. I picked up some plates. I know. This isn't for everybody, but guys, I don't feel like washing dishes right now, and I don't feel like loading and unloading the dishwasher. This is the 50 plates. They've got several different designs you can choose from. I love these. It says they're comparable to Dixie. They are a heavy-duty brand. They have them larger, and then they also have the smaller ones, but this is the ones I always get, which is the 8.5 inch. Now, we're going to talk about the new items I found at Aldi. Now, the first thing I saw, as soon as you go into Aldi, you know, they have their crackers and cookies. This was there. Gluten-free keto crackers. There's gonna be pumpkin seeds, almonds, hemp seeds. This is the five ounce bag. It says USDA organic, and there's gonna be 100 calories per five crackers, and that is gonna be four net carbs. If you're wondering, these are gonna have seven total carbs. Zero sugar, like I said, gluten-free, no artificial flavors or colors organic, non-GMO. Let's open them up and see what they look like. That's inside the bag. Now, these are not tiny crackers, so let's take one out, and that way you can see just exactly how large they are. I'm gonna go ahead and taste one. Very crunchy. First opinion, not that bad, actually. I can see these working. They have, a, I'm not sure what I'm tasting. In these have you guys tried them if you have let me know your thoughts on them in the comments maybe it's the sunflower seeds but for some reason they have like this sweet taste to them you could probably do so many different things with these like dip them in salsa guacamole add cheese to the top of them but again you're getting five of these for four net carbs so if you can fit that into your low carb lifestyle then i say go for it next new item there are three different types of the elevation keto bars that are out 
This one is going to be your chocolate almond brownie. This is going to be the chocolate coconut macaroon. And then last but not least, salted caramel pecan. Now, each one of these is going to have four bars and they are going to be 1.4 ounce bars each. And this is the Aldi brand, the Elevation. It does have some of your important information right on the top of the boxes. So we've got gluten-free. It looks like each one of these is gonna have MCT oil in it. So you are getting those. This is gonna have two total sugars and you're getting three net carbs on the caramel. You're getting three net carbs on the coconut and you're also getting three net carbs on the chocolate almond brownie. Chocolate almond brownie is gonna be 180 calories, 15 total carbs, and it is going to be six protein, 15 fat. Right there are your ingredients. So if you do wanna pause this and check those out, I do suggest it because there might be something in here you're not interested in having in your diet. But you're gonna see it is gonna be stevia leaf extract sweetened. I'm not seeing any horrific ingredients but it may not be something that suits your lifestyle. There's what this one's gonna look like. Then on your coconut, it's gonna, oh, that's gorgeous. I didn't even look at the back. It's gonna have 190 calories, 16 fat, 15 total carbs, and then five protein on that one. Okay, let's check out the caramel pecan. Well, isn't that gorgeous? And this one is gonna be 190 calories. This one's actually gonna have 16 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, and six protein. But remember, each one of these is gonna be three net carbs. Glad I was able to find these and let you at least be aware that they are available. Remember, these aren't gonna be for everyone. They may not fit into your lifestyle. You may be doing a cleaner version of keto. Maybe you're doing low carb, but you might be able to fit these in. Do what works best for you. You know, I always say you do you boo. Everybody's journey is going to be different. I think I'm going to save these till a snack and chat in an upcoming video. But the crackers, I thought they were pretty good. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you guys have a great week.